Hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Cheyenne Sierra Polonese. Okay. She gave us the whole government. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheyenne, how old are you? I'm 25 years old. 25. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a high school teacher and I'm also a content creator. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, For me, I'm very adventurous. So I like to do like extreme activities. I love being outside, okay. but I do... I like to stay home too. Mm -hmm. So um, I just went um, like skydiving like a couple of months ago. I, I like to do adventurous stuff. Okay. I'm going to see the balloon, pop the balloon. Not pop the balloon. <laughs> you are on pop What's the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on a hot air balloon tomorrow. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So I'm real That's adventurous. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a man? For me, I want somebody that is a real man of God. I'm talking about like a real one. Someone. She's saying a lot. She come up here saying she's 25 years old, a 25 year old high school teacher. Now she's talking about a man of God. All right. No, okay. My here's my thing. I can't get past like she a high school teacher. Oh, I don't know what high school she teaching in, but she couldn't have been a teacher in my high school. It would have been some issues. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. We need we all our teachers had to be big and unsightly. <laughs> it was trouble. But she ever talking about they leading with leading with religion. Keep it in your back pocket. She ever talking about God fearing and she on all this dark red and burgundy. <laughs> so here we go. This is her Instagram here. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The hell with that burgundy. They <laughs> on yeah, she about to be on here. Let's see what it's really hitting for. Okay. All right. I thought she had been a little modest woman, Miss Teacher Teacher. Huh? Yeah, that, I tell you what, that hair is atrocious, man. Can't stand it. Can't effing stand it. Here's the thing. She a high school teacher. Somebody, y'all got to stop playing. I ain't the only one thinking the same thing. Not se Seniors... Stop. It depends on where she a teacher at. If she in the hood near you with D-boy nug nugs in 12th grade and stuff, trouble is a brewing. I only assure you that. It don't matter where she at. She 25. Huh. She around 17, 18 year old boys. Hell. Young men. Huh. Trouble. <laughs> trouble in the valley. Ain't no way. It, it's like been a sport. Is her cheeks out? It had been a sport. They took it as a chest. <laughs> yes. This is a teacher? The educators? This is crazy. I said, is her cheeks out? <laughs> yes, they are. Confirmed. <laughs> Ain't no. no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Bro. Not only a teacher. No We'll grant you that. We do more police. She come up here, man of God. No, listen, what? All bad. It ain't. It ain't giving front pew. It ain't. It ain't giving wholesome educator. It's just not. Or Say is it? Or is this showing how far the church has fallen? We talked about <laughs> this. The, her wigs should be a crime. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. No trial. Straight to jail. <laughs> so. There we go. 25 years old, no kids, looking for a God fearing man. Okay. Y'all could, well, I couldn't be in high positions of authority because y'all remember how they had the jump out crew in New York for the D boys? I had jump out crew for Bone Quisha and her wigs. She'd just be spotted out with an atrocious wig and we just jumping out, taking her and <laughs> straight to jail. <laughs> that part. So here we go. Hit the like button. Try to get this video cute back up. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that I was like her IG. The, so I like the context. God fearing. Don't forget that. <laughs> Tristan says she gives preacher's daughter vibes. A mm, little bit, a little bit. So here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Like skydiving, like a couple of months ago. I, I like to do adventurous stuff. I'm okay. going to see the balloon, pop the balloon. Not pop the balloon. <laughs> You are on pop What's the balloon. <laughs> I'm going on a hot air balloon tomorrow. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about that. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm real ambitious. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a man? For me, I want somebody that is a real man of God. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like a real one, someone that is loyal. So if you have like um, somebody in Africa or somebody in Haiti, I could just pop right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I also want somebody that is um, a provider, okay. a leader, and um, yeah, someone that's fun. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, so what are some of your uh, deal breakers? Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have kids, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and and um, somebody that's cheap. I'm sorry. I can't do the cheapness. Like, mm-mm. Okay. All right, cool. So we did get two pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there, see what's going on. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. You said Kim? Yeah. Okay, and Kim, what do you do? Uh, I do a few things. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I own a record label. I uh, invest in property. Uh, I invest in stocks. But to fund all that, I work at a restaurant downtown Phoenix. I'm a server. Okay, all right. Yeah. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she said the kids. Yeah, I got a son. He's three. Aww. That's my boy. He's like everything to me. So like, you know. I love kids, by the way. I really do. <laughs> it's just That's that. Just and two things. First, first thing she come up here and say, if you got kids, pop. They pop. Then she said, if you cheap, ah, uh, y'all should have popped again because this gold digging, red flag. And this Amen. brother. And then she gonna ask this man, what do you do for a living? He gonna go through. All them hoops like Bonquisha, man, not a good look. You know, I invest in property, cryptocurrency. He said, but to fund all that, I'm a waiter at a restaurant. Why don't you say that? There you go. Because then when they're, thank you. Start with the lowest one. I wait tables. So now whenever you uh, finish with cryptocurrency, invest in real estate, we they got an idea of your success rate at the least or your growth because if you see what i'm saying because if you just leave crypto real estate stock broken mother suckers thinking your portfolio all divesting you're him and you're not because if you're him you ain't busting tables you in the beginning stages give some context don't do that like gavin said that's that's bonquisha-esque <laughs> oh here we go hit the like button so you know some preference yeah i feel yeah. it i feel yeah. it and then the thing about that that's what's up because i you know i didn't want to really have a kid with someone i wasn't going to be with so if you find that that's what you need to chase for real okay for sure all right now before she said the kids thing you did have your balloon unpopped why did you yeah she's beautiful like you oh. know i love a beautiful black woman the skin tone is oh. crazy like yeah she's she beautiful and mm. like everything she was saying She's fun, like to be outside, but be home. Yeah, she she seemed like she cool. Okay, all for right. Sure. Now, um, is Kim someone that's your type? <clears throat> he's not really my type, but he's very, very handsome. Shout out to all the guys, by the way. Y'all, y'all did that. Yeah. Okay, the kings <laughs> did that. But yeah, yeah, you're very handsome. Appreciate it. Okay, and what makes him not your type? Um, he's just a little bit short. Okay, and then I just he's feel like nice you, bro, like. <laughs> <sighs> I just feel like I'm not trying to be rude, no, but bad. it looks like you kind of like smoke. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no problem with you, you know, being a smoker. I just don't want to like, like have the smoker lips. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a little lips, bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black lips. Yeah. I, yeah. I, feel okay. it. I respect it. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go on over to our next pop balloon. Okay. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. I'm Dante. I'm 28. Okay. Dante, what do you do? Uh, I make music for TV and film. That's what I do. Okay. Nice. Okay. So why did you end up popping your balloon? She said she can't do a kid. It's not hers. She can't. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so how many kids do you have? I only got one. Just one. Okay. I just got one. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, he's four. Love him. He's like my own little clone. You feel me? Aww. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, and then also you told a dude he smoked. Yeah, I, I smoke. So, I mean, smoker lips. You and no wrong. You don't got the smoker lips, though. Okay, cool. Say that. You know, I try my best. To, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Them, you know? <laughs> okay. Now, is, uh, so is he, Dante, right? That's my name. Is he someone that's your type? Oh, he's well dressed. I love his height. You you have a nice smile. Thank you. I just don't really like dreadheads, but that's it. It's but that's good. it. But they're really nice though. They're real clean. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I say, yeah, she's she's very, very attractive, very beautiful. I say, I like how she put that red on you, Phil. Oh, so, you know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are, man. Um, She's definitely socially awkward, rested development, but, huh. That's all. That That is all. Not too bad, though. She she ain't overly, overly ratchet. She got an insidious ratchetness to her. She is ratchet. It's just toned down at least up here. We've seen the IG, so we got context. We done pulled the wool from over our ass. But she's coming across as not ratchet. A little chameleon work. Impressive. All right. Thank you. Let's go back this way because we got one over here. Your name and age? Uh, I'm Dejan. I'm 30. Okay. And Dejan, what do you do? Uh, I work for American Airlines, and I'm also an actor and a model. Okay. All right. Now, why do we end up popping our balloon? Honestly, it's the red. I think you're very gorgeous, mm -hmm. but it's just something about the red that does it for me. And then you said the smokers. I do like to indulge, not every day, but okay. I do like to indulge a little bit. So I want to come home one day and you'd be like, oh, you smell like weed or whatever. You don't want me. I just rather not even deal with it. But I think you're very gorgeous. I love the red. The shoes are amazing. You just love say you ain't like my red, but you like my red. I, I like the red, but it's like I don't like the red. Oh, it's, you okay. know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, I like the red, but I don't like it. It's too much. Oh, okay. I like the red color, but it's just too much for you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, you know what I mean? But I think you're very gorgeous. I feel you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. And now, uh, Cheyenne, is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's Appreciate real you. handsome. I like the bling, you know. You. Yeah, he's real. He's cute. You. Okay. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go down over here. We did get one over here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Is that Hendo? Yeah. And Hendo, what do you do? Uh, so I'm a veteran and I also work in private security and throw uh, parties. Okay. And now why did we end up popping our balloon? So I ended up popping my balloon because when you first came out, you said you want somebody who's real close to God. I'm still trying to find that. So it'll be like not good for you when I'm still trying to look and find. And you brought up dude's height and you have like four inch heels mm -hmm. on. So it's kind of like, of course, he's going to be short. And so. Okay. All righty. All right. Now, is Hendo someone that's your type? He's not my type, but he, he seems like such a sweetheart. Okay. He seems like a sweetheart. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. If we can have your name and age. Tony. I'm going to stop it for a second. Hell! We talk about you don't want to be called a sweetheart. Y'all see y'all throwing up uh, rainbow flags and whatnot. But, and then the other guy, what did she say to him? She's laying these guys down soft. It's, it's horrible. It is, but little Hendo, little Hendo, that one, he, you know, <laughs> she definitely touched on the height disparity. And yeah, that brother, he said he in the military, he throw parties and something else. I don't know if it's like this stage. We had said it before that may be a little intimidating, a bit overwhelming the cameras and stuff, but man, like, that was the he appeared to be the most socially awkward I've seen up here to date. Don't know, don't know what he got going on, but he ex military, you know, God bless him, thank him for his service. But mid, I don't think this is his arena. Long story short, I'm 28. Okay, and Tony, what do you do? Um, I'm in transportation, so I drive trucks. Oh, okay, that's what's okay. Now, why do we end up popping our balloon? Um, because height was a, a preference thing for her, she said he was too short for her, so you know. I'm not that far from his, his so. <laughs> okay. But that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. All right. So prior to her stating that, you know, statement, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why? Um, yeah, she's a very beautiful young lady. Um, she put her outfit together very nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, you okay. know. You're feeling it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She, she's definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll probably approach her if I seen her in person. Okay. Outside of it. All right. Now, is he someone that is your type? I know you said the height thing. Yeah, but he's very handsome. So I think Thank I would you. give him a chance. Mm -hmm. But I, at the same time, no, because um, the, the, the tattoo on the face. Um, I don't know. Okay. It just gives me okay. that you just came from jail and you re like, you're like you like changing your life around, which is good. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you, I don't know your background history. I just feel like people that have face and their tattoos give me that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You know, yeah. people going to have, the, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that is what it is, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, it's okay. All righty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll say this. Don't have no face tattoos, fellas. I agree with this woman. He come up with that face tattoo and 
she said, you look like you fresh out of jail. He got teardrops and stuff. And she, yeah, he like, I, nah, nah, no, no. What? What is it then? Yeah. And like we touch on tattoos. Don't do it if you can't. That. <laughs> I guess you can't get it removed, but you really can't. Stop. They ain't getting removed. You got to be careful. Face tattoos. Stuff like that is for the rich, <laughs> the wealthy. If you you ain't got an answer to nobody, that's my thoughts. You go well, not only on... that, we talking about teardrops and stuff. That signifies like you know you done deleted yeah. somebody, you done been to prison. Like, yeah, that's what it was. I agree. That's that's the ethics we grew up under. But I don't know what they say it mean nowadays. They weird now. They just do it just because it's fat because it's fashionable. It's sick. It really is. But it's dumb nonetheless. I tell you what, I'm getting a little distracted by Hen Dog. Hen Dog need to exit stage left. I, I'm this is extreme. He need to not be up here. He giving unhinged vibes. He he said like he trying to still find his walk with the Lord. He looked like real emo ish. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'll say this to the men: with this guy with the tattoo on his face, we had the other guy up here with the weave in his hair. The guy on Kendra wearing the wig. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. Y'all need to start thinking stuff uh, all the way through because perception is reality. So people are looking at you one way, but y'all saying, no, 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 I'm really not. And it's like, you out here single on the dating market, you want people to interpret something one way. Um, th there you go. Very well. I couldn't have said that better myself right there. You still looking for people to accept you to some degree. You can't say I'm going to do what I want, and then you don't want to deal with the consequences. <laughs> Man. No, oh, but yeah, it's okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So we do have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have a question to ask the guys to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Um. Yes. So I wanted to know, like, how is your relationship with God, like, are you guys, I'm Christian, so I feel like God should be, like, for firm foundation in my relationship, in our relationship. So, how's your relationship with Jesus, by the way? Okay, let's start over here. Your name and age. My name is Caleb, and I'm 27. Okay, Caleb, what do you do? I'm a current grad student, and I'm also an intern at NASA. Oh, okay. All right, and now to go ahead and answer your question, what's your relationship like with God? I'm very close with God. Uh, I'm a Christian, and I've been going to church um, ever since I was a little kid, um, my mother instilled that into me um, mm -hmm. since a, a little one. Okay. Mm, okay. okay. Go down over here. He did pop. We'll be back for you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. My name is Luan. I'm 27. Okay. And Luan, what do you do? I do private security. I own my own, I, I own my own sneaker shop and then I do transportation. Oh, very cool. And so um, to go ahead and answer a question, what's your relationship like with God? I mean, I grew up in a Christian household, but as I got older, I'm more spiritual now. But I do believe in the most high, most definitely. And I do my devotionals every day and uh, just following the word, especially with knowledge and, and wisdom. So I'm on that journey right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. We did get a pop balloon right over here. If we can have your name and age. And before he go. Now everybody into the Lord, 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 I'm on a spiritual journey. They trying to go read scriptures with you and clap cheeks because you didn't gave them your game plan. They like, yeah, I love the Lord too. <laughs> love them, love them. And got to be Jesus, must be. I love it. Not very understanding. But anywho, <laughs> the first brother up there, light-skinned brother with the colorful shoes on, you know, that probably costs more than we can afford. That ninja is the prototype. Outside of being a darker complexion, which most women seem to request for whatever reason, that's him. Tall, ain't a bad looking brother. Got a bow tie on, so leave it at that. He dressed. Got fancy, smancy shoes on. Uh, and he's God-fearing. His mama instilled that in him. Order 66 is stamped into his skull. Huh. Prototype. She need to walk away with him. Or else. Eight. Hey, my name is uh, Christian. I'm 29 years old. Christian, what do you do? Uh, I fly planes right now, uh, working on getting my certifications, building my hours, becoming a pilot for a major airline. 
Very nice. Now, um, Christian, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you, you just sound like religion is very important to you. I respect that 1,000%. Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, I haven't really found a church home since I've been here in Arizona. Okay. Um, and, you know, with it being so important to you, I just didn't want that to uh, be something that becomes a major conflict for you personally. All righty. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So you say you haven't found a church home, but, like, are you Christian and everything like that? Kind of like how she asked? Oh, yeah. No, I grew up in churches, you know, uh, playing in, like, every church uh, church band or church choir I've been in uh, growing up. Mm -hmm. um, just haven't really uh, had a church home since sort of uh, college, so. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, do you still have a relationship with God? Uh, you know, I don't pray as much as I probably should, but I still definitely believe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. And thank you. Let's go <laughs> back this way. All right, guys. Do you all have a question for Cheyenne? <clears throat> Let's go back over there. Don't be nervous. Uh, don't be nervous. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Um, how many kids you got? I have no kids. No kids? Mm -hmm. Proud right. auntie. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's your relationship with your father? My, Me and my dad have a great relationship. I love that man. Like, he taught me well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you had uh, mentioned about the smoke thing. So you don't want your man to do it at all? No, I don't mind if he does it. He can smoke. I just okay. didn't want, you know how some people look like smokers? Like right, they have like, right, right, they're right. like extra skinny with black lips. They look yeah. like a little bit. I don't know. It just gives, I don't want you to look like um, okay. a crackhead. <clears throat> okay. Because I work out. I mean, I need my medical. So, you yeah, know, I do just, that time to time. Just keep yourself you know? up. But you look good though. I, like you seem like you keep yourself up. I appreciate that. That's it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go back over here. Did you have any questions? I did. Okay. What are your current goals? My goals? My goal is to become the best version of myself um, in all aspects of life, like spiritually, mentally, working. And I'm doing that every single day. So I'm very goal-driven. Um, yeah. And I'm, I, my goal is also to impact, inspire and to um, influence. So I, I do want to like make sure that anybody who meets me, they're, they're impacted in some way. I do want to spread the gospel. And I also want to build like generational wealth, not just for my kids, but like I know I'm not on this earth just for me, just to impact everyone. Yeah. Thank you. OK, Cheyenne, any other questions for the guys before you make your decision? <clears throat> yeah. Um, Rare. Where do you guys see yourself in like three to five years? Wait, what do you guys do? And then where do you see yourself in like three to five years? Like, what do you feel like is your purpose? Um, so right now I'm a I'm in grad school uh, for business analytics and I'm also an intern at NASA. So what do I see myself in the next three to five years? Um, I see myself working for NASA um, and just hopefully having my partner at that time, um, starting a family and um, just moving somewhere and just enjoying life okay okay all right let's go over here my name is Lawan, and uh i see myself in in the next three to five years is owning a few lands a few units mm -hmm. that's kind of my goal right now i got my first unit right now so oh, learning the game right okay. now yeah <laughs> really so you it. know uh like I said, I own a sneaker shop, so I plan on like expanding that. You mm -hmm. know, that's why I'm down here, just to kind of explore some things and stuff so I could come out here more often. So that's kind of where I see as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. landowner. Okay. Real. Yeah. Tell you what, this is Nug Nug. His one fish, two fish game is strong. I mean, he come up here talking about he owned a sneaker company because he got a Facebook marketplace store where he sell his old shoes and <laughs> entrepreneur buying land you know <laughs> he's just talking wishing and there you go and like just very vague he said just bought his first unit and okay that is so vague this could be a unit that he ran out this could be a unit and he currently in desperate search to find five crackheads to try to do a renovation on it and it's a money pit either way he just acquired a unit <laughs> and, and that's I could never respect that. I can't. I hate the vague answers and occupations and entrepreneurial endeavors. It gets on my nerves. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I got one more question for you okay. guys. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what is your love language and what are your toxic traits? My love language is called quality time. Okay. Be real. Uh, my toxic trait is. Uh, 
sometimes like when I'm busy and I'm locked in, sometimes I, I can't like I don't show as, as much emotion or, you know, I wouldn't say attention, but like you will feel like I'm not giving you enough attention, but I'm really locked in just to be a better provider and be a better version for myself. So I kind of feel like it it'll be toxic for a lot of women that came in my life because I was always so busy for them. And they kind of feel like I ain't have enough time for them. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's kind of like one of my toxic traits right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not too giggling. <laughs> All right. And I think you said uh, toxic trait. And what was the other one? Love oh, language. Yes. Uh, so my love language is quality time and physical touch. Okay. Um, and I would say my toxic trait is uh, personally just – caring too much um trying to about the other person when it's not reciprocated like usually i just always put too much effort into that relationship and that person and it's just never reciprocated so that would be my toxic trait i kind of like trust um too soon oh okay 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 all right cheyenne we gotta make a decision based off of these responses you got so i'm gonna hand you on a toothpick oh now I got to be sweating out here. Yes. It's hard. Here's my thing. How could this be so hard for her when these two dudes couldn't be more different? Thank you. So so what does that say about her? I like that observation. Like, what is she going to say? She don't have a type? That's not always, that's not a good answer, not having a type. I believe we all should have a type to some extent. Like, come on, man. What are you really searching for? And a type ain't all got to do with looks. But, yeah, I don't see how she ain't dealing with this this first brother here. She came up here stressed, and she said, you must be a follower of Jesus. If this was back in the old days, you would have been one of his one of his 13th disciple. That would have been you, Ninja. And that's that tall brother there. You know, what was that old show? Joseph and a Technicolor dream coat. There's your Joseph and his Technicolor dream loafers. That's your man. <laughs> I know, I know. Those are really wait. What do I base up? Are they answers? Just yeah, everything you've heard so far. You know, attraction, whatever it may be, like that Person? you're feeling off of all of from both of them. Oh. So who are you leaning more towards, and which one are you gonna pop? Hey. They both tall. <laughs> <laughs> they both black. <laughs> you're black, right? No. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm black sorry. and white. Black and white? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think I'm going to pop his. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pop his. You say, wait, you say you do nail saw? Wait, you're not in nail saw. The intern. Intern. intern wait, and you're majoring in? Business analytics. Oh, okay, and for what, master's degree? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm just glad. I'm sorry. Okay. So why did we end up popping his? The only reason why I popped his is because I felt like I liked his career a little bit more. Okay. Mm-hmm. And with your career, I feel like I could build with you because I don't mind like building. Mm. But I don't know. I just want like somebody that has like both like. I could build with him, but you still have like a stable income. Right. I respect that. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no it pressure. was hard. Yeah. Really? <laughs> now I feel like now I regret popping his balloon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. You see, you're you're regretting it. Yeah. Why? What's going on? Why are we regretting it? Because he popped his balloon. Oh, uh, I mean, go ahead. I mean, well, I want you. To... <sighs> Stop. 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 Before you. <laughs> She said, I'm regretting popping my balloon only because the guy really wanted popped his. And he going to say, now he's re... Brother, you don't want to be second fiddle. Thank you. Stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop moving. This is like whenever they playing baseball and they sitting there. What's that called? Whenever the, the two defenders got the ball and they run between the base trying to get the dude. And now she's saying she don't know which way to go now. She like, I wanted him, but he popped his balloon, but you show more interest. And now my pride is getting hurt and I'm starting to sweat through this red velvet cake dress and stockings. This is sick. And she get what she deserve. Because as she was going to pop his balloon, how you 
I'm the first dude standing there. He's like, I done got me a lady. And he watching his newfound lady sitting there. And she is reluctantly going to pop this balloon. And that's what she get. Don't be up there trying to straddle the fence. Make a choice. Commit to it and get your prize. But now you leave there empty handed. Who <laughs> to follow your heart, though. You know, if he had the better answer, see the reason why he popped it. No, but I, I, I think I think I want my balloon back with him. Oh, do you want your balloon back? I would wait, wait, wait. No, n- not that you're an option though. Like you're not okay. a sec- you're not a second option. Ah, right, that's it, that's it. Okay. Okay, we, okay. Let's get it. Let's get another balloon for him. Wait, I got one more question. Go for it. All right. So, you would rather have a dude that has. One million followers or one million dollars? Which one you choosing? One million dollars. Okay. Stupid question. She she got some. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that okay. All right. All right. So we're let's go see what's going right. on back there. No, oh, I just God. I just just because she was gonna choose him, man. Oh. I just what's going on? I just just because no, it is, like now nah, she now nah, you stunning. Like I, I like your style. I okay. just feel like you was gonna choose him, and I just. That's just gonna be in the back of my mind, and I don't want to put you through that. Okay. And I know how. Oh. Yeah. Boom, Revenge is a dish best served cold. So she came down there. She popped his balloon. He had to eat that. Now she said, "Pick it back up." He said, "I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this game with you." He pick it back up just to get his sweet revenge and pop it right in her face. I love it. I don't care what nobody say. That was pure pettiness. All petty. Like, (laughs) he was sitting there, and she answered his question correctly. It was a dumb question. Would you rather a guy with a million subscribers or followers or a guy with a million dollars? Dumb question. Real dumb. She answered it correctly, and he still popped it. (laughs) She had to eat that. I like it. Oh yeah, that was the best he got. He was he was simping, he was backed into a corner, but he redeemed himself. There you go. Acceptable. Redeemed. <laughs> oh. I like how I can give I feel like I'm an option. So you know. Oh. That's all. <sighs> okay. Thank that's, you. That's the only reason though. It ain't nothing else. Okay. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go back over here. Okay. <laughs> Why did we end up popping? So I felt like you was only going to give me a chance because I said a certain word, which was NASA. So that's why I went ahead and popped because I feel like there's more than uh, more to me than just uh, my job. So that's why oh, I popped. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't hear just NASA. I heard that you were such a sweetheart. I heard a lot of things. And I felt like you, you have like a nice spirit, a nice soul. So that was one of the reasons also why I stuck with you. But okay. Thank you. I, I understand. It. You're very gorgeous though. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, they're <laughs> lost. <laughs> exactly. But thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. All right. Bye, take the mic. <laughs> Is it really their loss? They didn't want you, Bonquisha. So, <laughs> no, it's not. That brother there that worked for NASA, for NASA, I won't say NASA, that works for NASA, yeah, he is a good Christian brother, so he at least exudes that. She is oozing hypocrisy, and that's the crazy part. She can't put talking about you gotta follow Jesus, you know, if you're from Haiti, all types of self hatred little nuances, and you a whole through your phone via your IG. But God, this and Jesus, that pure hypocrisy is gross.